Hello guys and welcome back again. So in this video we'll just uh, do something that most of us will really need it mostly in uh, when building mobile application using Ionic based on Angular. Or you can use the same mechanism, the same concept also in Angular application. It's the same thing. So in here as you see we have Ionic uh, project, Team Ionic. And here we'll uh, just implement a team switcher between dark and light mode okay so here write cmd in here code dot and what we have here we have empty project here. so just run ionic serve and this will open your Ionic project in uh, the browser and let's go ahead and see what we have we have this home page in home page we have this initial content so we'll just delete the header and delete the content in here as well and would like something like okay this is our mobile application and yeah let's back again in here and see what we will do let's say h1 here ionic team switcher and let's put some paragraphs lorem copy paste it like many times and in here we'll see the chance there is no padding here but there is something ready that we can use it in the class here ion padding okay as you see there is now there is padding around and what we have to do let's just create a new service like for example ionic generate service let's name shave slash services and slash team for example and this will generate uh, the service file in here as you see let's open it and put a variable here and let's say it's mode boolean is equal to true let's say for example in here true that mean light and false that mean dark and what we have to do in the home page okay we can here add uh, ion oops I think I didn't have ionic Snippets, ion, button, uh, switch, and in here, click, switch, team, and let's put it in uh, in the uh, home page dot ts. And in here, let's inject just our team service. Uh, private team service is team service. I'm parted here directly. And in this one, we just need to get this dot team service dot mod is equal to not this dot team service dot mod. If it's light so it will get dark true will get false false get true that's it and from where we will put this one okay so in here yeah we will go directly to the home app complete.html uh, and here we need we need to add ng 
class well and the class and we need here dark mode when it be dark mode and light mode when it be light mode so in the app complete.ts here just we need like to inject uh, our service again but we need it public here uh, team service team service so I just need to get this one and save this file go here and here when it be dark mode so it be dark mode when it be false so not team service dot mod oops dot mod and here it be light mode when it is team service dot mod as well so when we save this one and go here and let's inspect this page you go directly to iron up in here and you will uh, when you read the classes you will find light mode this is the class but when we go back to uh, team service and change it to false you will find it for sure you will find it iron up dark mode uh, the same way we switch as you see it changed to light mode switch again dark mode and that's it so what we need to do exactly now in the team folder here we need to add new very new uh, file let's name it colors.scss and here we need to put those two classes dark mode and light mode okay and we have light mode light mode mean uh, the background is white bg or main main bg is f7 f8 ff F. and what we have color is for example 18 18 18 this is in the light mode for the dark mode we need the bg to be like for example 28 and the color let's say it's ff it's white color okay yeah it will have no effect because we need to call this file in here or import it import with url is with the team slash colors.scss when we save now we will find something because now it's just dark mode and we didn't implement our to change the component so our elements HTML elements the background and the colors and so on so in here what we need to do for example let's say ionic another file a CSS file component dot CSS okay and let's go here home what we have we have ionic content normally uh, ionic content it will have all of it have like uh, the same background mostly if we want like to chat we have like different uh, backgrounds so like that we will play around with uh, each component a css file something like that but let's say uh, let's add another thing here we have paragraphs but let's go to ionic framework.com and let's go to components in here top search about cards this cards so for the cards we don't need anything from here for now we just need copy and paste it for example under this title okay and we will see the chance this is our card so let's say background with different color and this background or this card with another color okay so let's say for example in here iron component we just copy iron content and later we have iron card without dot because it's html element as well and here uh, simple background it will not work 
var and we go to colors and we have to get our main bg okay dash dash main bg like that so let's save oops we didn't call this component uh, this ionic or a css file as well just rename to copy the name go to global and the same thing at import from erl oops. sorry here okay and save it and we we'll see our chance so as i said background here will not work so like directly put dash double dash in here we will see something like that as you see when we click here as you see we have like light dark mode but still this uh, colors of text colors not working yet so just what we have we have for example h1 color and go here copy that one var and put it in here what we will have it will not work just move please yeah probably uh, the variable color is taken here in the variables or somewhere else but anyway anyway we can directly add custom something like that like as even sulfur colors and save that go here I encounter components Oops. Oh, this one this is color for sure but in the colors here we change this and we change this okay so in here normally you can find something as you see fine and let's add h1 and let's say also p have the same colors as you see in here fine okay so as you see the cards haven't like the same uh, background so in here we need to go back colors and go uh, add something else for example uh, secondary bg for eight for eight for eight or just it's not it will not like look good 32 and here let's see 18 18 18 but we need to add the double dash here copy the same variable and yeah here as you see the background is f7 f8 ff and let's uh, put the cards color like that okay and go here iron card and we put back ground as var and go to secondary colors here to the colors file save copy save yeah as you see here it is but we have these titles and those things so like that it's inside the cards how to uh, get this here what we have I we have iron card title we can specify here like uh, some colors let's say we have two colors the white and the secondary color secondary color here seven e seven e seven e this in the dark mode and here let's say it's like b1 no it's fine eight eight maybe this acceptable secondary color okay and in the iron card what we have we have the iron title and let's delay this one in here color over 
and get our color from here double dash and what we have else we have the main or uh, okay here the same thing here with the eyes color this one should be here and this is But here we need to get iron card content and put it here. Okay, and let's save and see our channels. Mm, cause maybe in here iron card, iron header. Only the card title. So. Okay. Let's, for example, Doesn't work. Yes, guys, it's not working within iron cards. Just put it outside it, and let's go to here. I S A S color. Well, put it like that, and then here, what we have in here. Let's see it. Oh, this is not working. And lovely, it's without dash. Yes, yeah, so let's see. Lovely secondary color, secondary, secondary color. Let's say in here FF3333. See if it's working. It have affection affected or not. Yeah. So that's correct. Oops. Here, as you see, uh, our card ops, our card shouldn't have the same BG, secondary BG. Oh yeah, we need double this comma, and let's save. Okay, so here, uh, if for example, uh, you switch again, or you you are in the light and you reload the, or your page, it will it will back to dark uh, mode. So in here you can play a little with local storage within your uh, service file, team service, within a structure here, and uh, check if uh, the saved local storage uh, team here light or uh, or dark. So like that you can be uh, put simple line here and to uh, check if the save with the variable here is light or dark and depending on this value you can put your uh, team in your interface here so i hope this uh, helpful it's the same thing working with angular as well and normally it's same with the javascript well i work a lot with angular and uh, and ionic so uh, next videos maybe we'll add more things we can integrate how to uh, or i will show you how to use uh, prime ng within your ionic uh, application it will be really helpful as well also uh, bootstrap as well so like that at, le at least you can learn not like to lose time to style everything or uh, as you see for the ionic components it's not like uh, rich some things we can use it as well but not very rich and not like uh, have uh, great style and those things so we can like uh, use ionic uh, prime ng and uh, bootstrap as well we will see it in the next videos as well and i hope we continue upload more videos to help you uh, have fun bye bye, bye, -bye.